All right, hope everybody had a good week. Um, I'm gonna start out by just giving you an injury update. Uh, the four players that we're gonna rule out are gonna be Anthony Costanzo. Uh, we're gonna rule out Bobby Okariki. We're gonna rule out Re uh, Rigo. And then we're gonna rule out Kari, uh, Kari Willis as well. Uh, a good week of practice, um, you know, good week of practice. Ready to go. Felt like the guys were locked in. You know, we know we're going on the road against a, a good division and opponent. That's a team that's playing good football right now. So we're locked in, and um, you know, really take these last, uh, these last, this last day to lock in the game plan and, and get ready to go down and play our best game of the year. So open it up for questions. Good chat. Uh, Ryan Allen's been with you what two days, I guess. Uh, are, is it more not so much the punting as I assume he's going to be your holder as well? Is that something that when you've done it, I mean, you've done it, is that something you pick up pretty quick or does it take a little bit of time to get that process down? Yeah, no, it, he's a, he's a real good holder. Just having a chance to, you know, watch him up close today, get a number of holds. He looked, looked really good. Um, obviously it held a bunch. So there's still that little bit of, you know, at the beginning of the week or, you know, when he first gets here, get with Rod, you know, get the particulars, you know, for how Rod likes the ball placed, you know, get a feel for Rod's pre-snap routine, so to speak. So the timing and the rhythm of everything feels well. Um, real smart guy, um, just came in like a pro and uh, I think where all systems go. Phil B. Hey coach, uh, wondering if you saw a little bit of a, a boost in the morale today with Buckner back out there. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a lot of juice on the field today. I think it was for multiple reasons. You know, I, we're playing a playing a big game, um, but you could definitely feel DeForest presence out there today. Um, you know, Darius was in his usual form. You know, having DeForest and Danico, you know, out there together, you know, back. But you could just feel, man. A couple times I looked across the ball, and DeForest is just flying, flying across the ball. I mean, you just feel him out on the field. Um, so he definitely, uh, his presence was, was felt today. Steven Holder. Hey Frank, um, at safety with Kari out, uh, is that a Tavon Wilson situation or I'm, I'm not sure how, how the depth chart stacks up there. Yeah, no Tavon, you know, Tavon will step up and, you know, George will be ready when we need him and, and rotate in there if we need to, but, you know, Tavon's a real experienced veteran guy, tough guy. You know, really smart player. Um, really glad he's here. He's been a great addition the whole year. So, uh, we, you know, he'll have to step up and and play winning football. I'm more confident he'll do that. Jim Aiello. Yep, Stephen took mine. Um, I was just going to say, I mean, what have you? You haven't seen a lot of Tavon out on the field. I think it was something like 50, 55 snaps. How confident are you guys able to, you know, that he'll be able to step in and play a much more significant role? Yeah, we're real confident. You know, I remember when we first got him, you could feel his presence right away. You can feel here's a guy who just has that veteran savvy instinct. I think the other thing that you'll see, and you, you saw it last week, you know, even with one hit, this guy's a hitter. I mean, he, he loves contact. So um, look, looking forward to that. He'll make his presence be felt out there for sure. George Bremer. Uh, with the Nico and Buckner and Jonathan Taylor, is there any sense of a pitch count this week or are they full go? You know, um, we'll monitor them as they go, but, you know, we're feeling pretty good about where they're all at. So, you know, we're feeling pretty good about where they're all at um, and have a plan for each one of them. It might not, uh, it might not be the exact same plan for each one of them, obviously, but feel like they'll each be able to fulfill the roles that they normally play. Last one, Kevin Bowen. Frank, any thought to Anthony on IR? Is this something that you don't think will be three weeks? Yeah, no thought to that at this point. You know, it's just he didn't practice today, but he's making good progress. Um, you know, he's making good progress, and we and we feel we feel good about the progress he's making. All right, Mike Chapel got one more in here. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, Frank, is there any update on Philip? Did he practice all right today? I mean, how's the so, yeah, uh, he practiced. I thought I thought he looked good today. I mean, he's looked good every day, but I thought physically he looked better today than than um, you know than he has in practice. So, you know, dealing with dealing with his toe, foot, whatever. 
um, but feel like that's making good progress as well, get, getting closer, you know, to where we want them uh, to be. Just a quick follow up on that with the fact that, that you practice and you play, isn't this going to sort of be an issue the rest of the season just because of the nature of injury and you never, yeah, you're right. Chap. I mean, the nature of this injury, it's kind of, a, it's kind of a touch and go deal. It can get aggravated and, and take a step back, but what we're anticipating and hopeful for is that each week it gets one step better. So, um, you know, and I, I feel like we're there this week, you know, like if you talk to, you know, that he, he would tell you he's a day ahead of where he was last week. And so, you know, I would think if we have no setbacks in the next week or two, he, you know, it might be two more weeks maybe where he's fully, you know, no pain again. I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not just guessing based on discussions and experience and that kind of thing.